Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring a powerful tool that's essential for any content creator or video editor Wondershare UniConverter 15. Whether you're a seasoned YouTuber or just starting out, having the right software can make all the difference in your video production process. In this video, we'll explore how UniConverter 15 simplifies the way you convert, edit, compress, and enhance your videos, helping you create stunning content that stands out. Stay tuned to discover why UniConverter 15 deserves a spot in your video editing toolkit. Let's get started. Let's go to the Wondershare website here and download the video UniConverter for Windows 11. Okay, done now. Double click and let's install it. The installation is straightforward and I think it creates two shortcuts directly on my desktop. Yes, great. Okay, uh, and by the way, I will include all the important links in the description down below so you can find them instantly without having to search for them. So let's open the main program here. The current version is 15, by the way, because it also installed the player that supports Playb of almost every format here. We have a launcher that showcases all the features and tools the software comes with. Let's explore, I would say, to together each one. And I will give you a brief overview of what they are all about, okay? First of all, on the home here, we have the three main and biggest applications, the converter, which can convert video or audio to and from over 1000 formats. That's a lot. And last but not least here, we have the compressor, which compresses video and audio files without significant loss of quality. I really love this feature because it takes me a lot of disk space, meaning I don't have to buy new external hard drives for all my video files as often. Okay, then you also have an editor for quick edits, a screen recorder here to record your screen activities, and a merger which can easily combine multiple video and audio files into one. I think this is also very, very useful. Okay, there's a DVD burner, which might seem a bit old school, but don't underestimate clients or persons who prefer to use a DVD player to watch movies or family videos. Like weddings, you also have an image converter, which works like the video converter. But for still images, let's click and expand. There is a player for 4K, 8K footage as well, which I think it's very handy, especially when, when other players struggle with higher resolutions. Finally, there is a speech to text feature, which can be used, for example, generating subtitle for your videos. As you can see, there are many more tools in this Windows, like a GF Maker CD converter and a bunch of AI tools, like a video or image enhancer, AI thumbnail maker noise remover, and yeah, additional video stabilization. So very cool tools. I think for this video, we must focus on the most important tools I use. Regular as a video editor in order to improve my personal workflow. The video converted the compressor, the editor, and the merger for fast merging without using a separate editing program. And let's see. Yes, why not? Uh, and before I forget, there is also another menu item on the left side called My Files. Here there, you can see all your files and have the option to upload or download them. Or from the Wondershare cloud, when you press the right mouse button, you could do this. I personally use MP4 in high resolution. 4K for my videos, but I also sometimes use snippets from my iPhone, which usually records in MO format. I still have some older files I want to integrate and they could be in AVI format. Additionally, I need to convert some of all the DVD formats to MP4, which wasn't that easy. Okay, let's see if the converter can handle all these different formats properly. All right, let's start the conversion. Everything is done. Let's have a look at the output files here. Okay, they are all now in P4 format and I can play them smoothly in the unique converter player. I think this first test was really successful. Okay, I will move on with the next useful tool, the compressor, my favorite tool, because it already saved me so much disk space for my backup files. Okay, my example import worked quite well. I would say let's keep, keep it at 70% and try out how much the file size will change when I choose some files with this five sides at around, let's check it out, 20.2. GB and compress them so you can delete the original files and keep the compressed ones. Wow, it saved me really a lot of storage space. I know now what I will be doing over the next few weeks, so I don't have to buy any additional hard drives as often, to be honest. Yeah, okay, good. Let's jump right into the editor. So first of all, I really like the user-friendly interface, also the converter and compressor, by the way. I find everything very fast and it's completely logical on how to proceed. At least for me, okay, here we have some basic functions which can be very useful when you're in a hurry for, for sure, it will not substitute your editing software, but for a quick edit, I think you can use it anyway, good. So this was the editor. I'm really surprised how many function it offers. So when you're too lazy to work with a complicated editing tool, 
So you can also use this for short editing sequences for your shorts or reels. I would say, okay, good. What's next? Um, oh yeah, the merger function. I think this part doesn't need too much explanation here around simply load two more files here in this area and drag and drop it and merge them to your defined output folder. I think this is a no brainer. Okay, and now last but not least, as I promised the DVD burr, as I said, let's try it out to remember the good old times or you will be surprised how many clients still wanna get something physically all right to burn a DVD. First of all, we need to plug in my USB-A a cable of my external DVD burners. And now let's go to our tool to the DVD burner and add this in defilters through color YouTube video from me to the DVD burner section. So we can use now here a predefined intro menu. What that's also nice, it already said that this was an MP4, he will convert it to another resolution. And we have no subtitles and that's fine, the size is also not that big. It's a DVD5, so means at maximum, you can burn 4.7 gab on this disc. We don't need that much and I've chosen this nice menu and I can also, I have a DVD folder and I can say burn, let's go for it. So I think I showed and demonstrated to you the most important features the Worst Share Video Uni Converter comes with for sure. There are many more possibilities with the AI tools like the Video Enhancer Voice Changer or AI Thumbnail Creator, but I think this could be a topic for another video. Simply let me know if you're interested in another showcase in the comments down below. If you have any questions regarding this versatile software suite, feel free to leave one for me. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, please like and subscribe to support me and my channel. I highly appreciate that. Furthermore, if you, you like the video, there will be more popping up around me. So check them out and also hit the notification bell down there somewhere so you don't miss any future videos of mine. So happy converting, compressing and editing. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next one.